play those kind of games, you could run the place herself. Yes, good for you, darling. I think you'd do far better on your own. Yes, I think I will. You might have a look at the American markets while you're there. Oh, no. The only reason I'm going to America is to get William back. I won't be thinking of anything else. Mm. Oh, where, where, where's Abby, by the way? Taken her camera and gone to Guernsey. Would you believe it at a time like this? Sometimes I think she doesn't want that boy back as much as she says she does. I think it just as well I'm going on my own. <laughs> Pleasant surprise. If you're looking for Sir Edward, I, uh, I've been told the bird has flown. Oh? Where? Winter migration. I see. You obviously haven't been told. No, no. And it would never have worked out, Jan. What wouldn't? You and Sir Edward. You need to run free. Be your own woman. Do your own thing. You're a loner. Just like me. Time will prove you made the right decision. I often do. So, what brings you here, Ken? Oh, just looking the place over. You're thinking of buying Highfield? Well, that sounds so surprised, Jen. Everything's falling into place. Just as planned. I now control leisure crews, and there's another big deal in the pipeline. South of France. And if I win the World Powerboat Championship, this place is mine. <laughs> well, I've got to hand it to you, Ken. You certainly don't stand still. Now, that is more like the Jan I used to know. I haven't heard you laugh like that in a long time. It's a good sound. Maybe the black clouds passed over, eh? Yes. Yes, maybe it has. I understand we're both going to be in Guernsey at the same time. How did you know that? Oh, I follow every move of your career. <laughs> yeah, it's in the official brochure. I see. And? Two castaways on an island. How about dinner one night? Perhaps, but no promises. Come to think of it, having spent all day on my feet, all I'll probably want is bed. Well, I was only suggesting dinner, but... <laughs> You don't change, do you, Ken? <laughs> oh, they're going to miss you, Edward. <laughs> oh, don't worry, my beauties. I'll be back. I'll be back. I must emphasize that the ideas we've been discussing are just that, ideas. Structural and tank testing have yet to be carried out by Miss Needsom. Innovation is a very fine thing, but in this case, only if it wins races. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Well done. Uh, Mr. Dimitri. Mr. Howard, on behalf of my colleagues, may I thank you for explaining your concept in such detail. Mm -hmm. It clearly shows your past experience in aviation, and personally, I believe the future of yacht racing needs such radical thinking. Yes. Yes. Well, I, for one, am happy that you should design a 12-metre boat for this consortium. Yeah. 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 Well, Tom, we look to you to design us the first winner for the Guernsey Gold Cup. Ah, now, th that is a point, gentlemen. Uh, <clears throat> we have a problem here. Apparently, the World Power Boat Championship already has a Guernsey Gold Cup, and it could lead to a certain amount of confusion. Yes, that is a very good point, Gerald. Anybody have an alternative suggestion? Yes, I believe I have the perfect answer. Oh, what's that for? Well, it seems obvious to me that we should name it after the person who created this event. Well, I suggest we call it the Charles Freer Cup. Oh, yeah. No, I, I really don't think that's a very good idea, Paul. Nonsense, Charles. It's an excellent idea. Yeah, couldn't be better. Yeah. There, you see, we're all agreed. Yes, why didn't I think of that? 
Well, since you all insist, what can I say but thank you? Thank you very much indeed. I sincerely hope that we've jointly created an international sailing event that will bring prestige to us all. And perhaps even a little financial reward, eh? <laughs> <laughs> even that, Paul, even that. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, if you'll excuse me, I do have another engagement. I'll leave you in the capable hands of Gerald, Tom and Emma. Excuse me. Now, Gerald. Oh, gentlemen, you uh, raised the question. Yeah, yeah, well, You look beautiful. Thank you. I'm glad you were free this evening. Well, I have to leave for Guernsey first thing in the morning. Yes, yes, of course. It may not look like an olive branch, but that's what it is. May I put it on you? Yes, of course. Thank you. I believe at this moment I should say, oh, Charles, it's beautiful, but you really shouldn't have. Aren't those the right words? I never expect the obvious from you. I booked a table. If that's all right. Fine. I've no idea this island was so beautiful. Yeah, it's really quite something. What was that for? You being you. Well, that's everything loaded, Jack. So if that's the lot, I'm off. Uh, I'll go. Well, right, right, right. Right. Oh, well, hang about. I nearly forgot. Come this way, Bill. Where'd you get them from? Printers just delivered them. Sales brochures. Wrote them myself. From the yard that gave you Barracuda. From the yard where Spring was born. Spring was born. Touch of the old bard, that, you know, Bill. The Mermaid Yard proudly introduces Orcadian by Cecil B. DeMille. <coughs> what? I got the bit, whatever. Oh, very funny, Bill, very funny. I know things haven't been right between us for a long time. And I readily admit that much of it's been my fault. Yes, it has. But we won't solve anything by constantly looking back. Are you suggesting that we simply forget what's happened? <laughs> With the best will in the world, we can't change the past. It's over. It's, it's finished. What's important is that we have some kind of future together. This is far too valuable for me to forget. It's taught me that you'll tread on anyone to get where you want. You really do fool yourself sometimes, you know. Don't you realize that we're cast in much the same mold? You want power just as much as I do. And you can go after it just as ruthlessly when you need to. That's why we're so well suited. On the way here, you asked me what I was thinking. Actually, I was preparing a list of recriminations, accusations. Suddenly, I realize it doesn't really matter anymore. You wouldn't have heard them anyway. But at least give me the chance to answer them. No. No, Charles. 
I'm afraid it's finally over. 